Sit down, but well, let me just cross your legs, right? One of the videos shot by a neighbor shows an officer ordering the 13-year-old boy named Deontay and his 11-year-old sister to sit down on a stoop. That video ends abruptly. Hey, don't hey, touch my kid! Hey, don't touch hey, my kid! Hey, the next one picks up with the altercation between Deontay and a police officer already in progress. Oh, the boy's mom, Kimberly, is the woman in the gray shirt. He told them, get on the ground. I said, no, they're not getting on the ground. She 11, he 13, they're not getting on the ground. So I told them, come on. So as I told them, come on, he grabbed my son out, like, closed on them, hit him down, twisted his arm, trying, um, putting the handcuffs on him. Then he started close fisting my son. The video shows a lot of chaos, including Kimberly's 11-year-old daughter trying to intervene and others telling her to back up. Oh, because he just tried to squeeze my testicles. Deontay kicks and tries to get away as the officer walks him in handcuffs to a police car. Yep, he punched him. He only like 11. He's no older than 12. Yo, I'm about to send this kid to the f***ing hospital. Mm, well. You're right, H. Who's his lieutenant? face if I see him again, I'm going to beat the Oh. All right. This is video shot by another neighbor after Deontay is in the squad car. <laughs> Kimberly says Deontay has a mental disability and that a separate officer eventually on, called man. an ambulance. On, I still can feel it. I'm a little not in. I got a black eye. And so police issued a statement about this case late this afternoon. It says this was clearly a very hectic and chaotic scene that the officers were dispatched to. We take these matters very seriously. And Commissioner Tuggle has demonstrated his commitment to transparency and accountability. This case is being reviewed by the Office of Professional Responsibility as we speak. And that would include the video clips taken by civilians and posted to social media, as well as the police officers' body-worn cameras that we hope provide a more conclusive version of events from start to finish. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News. Guy, thank you.